Welcome back to another episode in Let's Play Monsters Den Book of Dread with Wando Bondo. We're working on the Den of Corruption. Uh, we finished off the half orc, the half troll leader, and uh, now we're working on uh, this orcish legion with three trolls. And uh, if ever there's a time to use potions and to go to the store and pick up some extra weapons and whatever else. Now's the time. Three trolls is definitely, <laughs> I personally believe that's the hardest battle you're going to fight, is three trolls. They can hit through to the back row. They have 15% regen on this level. They have 404 hit points. They hit for, they regen 15% of that, so it's about 60, 60 regen. Uh, it's crazy. With two shamans behind them, healing them up, and an orc savage, we need to be able to kill them pretty much instantly or uh, do something else. Now, one of the plans that I'm thinking of is this Pestilence Blade here with Bane will give us 109. Uh, if Bane goes into hiding, that will make it 200%. Uh, you can't count the poison on the Pestilence Blade. There's 67 poison, uh, and maybe we could add more poison but it won't matter because the shamans could heal. So they'll heal the poison and they'll heal up everything. So if you don't kill them before the shamans go, then they will heal, heal up those trolls and all for nothing. You'll have done a whole bunch of damage, they'll heal it all up, and now the trolls will whack, whack them all on you all day long. So you don't want that to happen. But we need to use the Pestilence Blade in order to do that. We would need to change the quickness. We would need a shield. That would drop us down to 61, which would put us behind Fox, and not behind Crom, unfortunately, um, and not behind Luck. But at least for Fox and Bane to do the coup de gras situation, that would work. Also, uh, the Pestilence Blade will allow us to do a double damage. So if we go into hiding on turn one, if Fox misses the, the pin because of the 25% resistance, then Bane will come in with the hiding. And on the next turn, he'll do a 218 damage. Trolls have no uh, resistance, no armor. So that means that's 218 out of 400. If we can get Krom a nice weapon, and Fox uh, will have done... Pinning, I think, gives normal attack damage. No, it's 75% of weapon damage. So that's going to be 64 and 118, or 218 is uh, 268, 272. If we could get Krom doing uh, 272, so that's uh, we would need we would need about 30, 232, I think it is. So if we can get Krom doing 132, so we would need something. Krom right now has a 55 damage item, and he's doing 83. If we need to do 132. That means we would need something with 50 more. So we would need a 105 damage item or something with strength on it. A lot of strength, maybe. So 105 damage item, that, uh, that's a possibility. So we're definitely going to the store. We're looking for unluck. We're looking for speed. Uh, 40 quickness is just really not cutting it very well. And power regen, especially power regen. Bane, we're looking for a nice shield. And Krom, a nice axe. And everything else... We can live with, I think we have level 4 weapons here, Pestilence Blades, level 4. We have a level 4 bow for Bane with some poison on it, that's nice. We're going to use one of these potions of protection. Luck has her Aegis skill, so we should be okay if we find some good things at the store. I think I'm going to go with... Uh, Chrome on this thing. I'm going to put this uh, portal scroll on Chrome. Now that we know what we need here, we need something. We have an axe here, but it's only got 80, 75. We need something with 105. That way, Fox, Chrome, and Bane just by themselves could kill, and Luck could bring out another Golem or do whatever Luck has to do because I, they, you know, three of them or all four of them could kill one troll per turn uh, without having to rely on the pin uh, chances of coup de gras. So, and you know, we always have that chance and maybe that's the best plan. 
I think I will definitely pull out a golem on turn one, but if on the next turn Fox does uh, shoots a pin down, and Fox has a little bit of blinding, which will also help us. Uh, if Fox shoots down a pin and it fails, then I will just double attack, hit with Bane, hit with Crom, and hit with Luck, and uh, that should finish them off. It's uh, that should do the trick. So 75 percent. I think this said 64 damage. Yeah, so 264, 260, uh, about another 18 on 264 and 18, 272, 82. Is it 282? Yeah, it might have been 282. I might have miscalculated that. 282 and Chrome would need 100 and not 100 and whatever it was, but Chrom's doing 83, 282, actually about another 40-something, so really I think I need something with 95, but I'm going to go for 100. If I don't see 105, then I'm not doing it. I'll just deal with something else. I don't want to pay all that money for something that's going to be obsolete so quickly anyway. All right, let's go with Chrom. Maybe he can intimidate the shopkeeper. Let's see what we get. Start with the potions, nothing there. Legendary lure 23, that's a little bit high. We don't have that much money. Uh, we don't have any lures at this time, right? I do want to get, I wanted to get um, a customer preferred badge, but uh, we had to spend all of our money here and there, and we just, maybe by next one, we'll be able to do that. Let's look at um, the epic items. Ooh. This is beautiful right here, 8,000 though, that's a lot. But it's 28% accuracy reduction, that is incredible right there. That will help us a lot. 78 damage, 3 intellect. What do we have here right now? We have 62 damage and 17 poison, which that's a total of about 80 damage, and this one's about 80 damage. So 3 intellect will put us a little over 80 damage. I like the poison a little bit better, but the blinding is really, really good. I definitely like that. And look at this blood harvester. Another 8,000, though, for that. That would be 123 damage. The barbarian could definitely use that, and that would definitely get us this past this thing. Plus 5 health regeneration is nice, but weapons just go out of style so quickly uh, in this game. You know, At this point, it might last two or three turns, but... It's really not that great. I like it. I mean, if I found it, I would definitely equip it and I would love it. But, uh, you know, here, I don't want to spy. I want to get that Emporium Preferred Customer Badge more than I want this. But this thing, I usually do not pass up the, the Staff of the Enlightened Magus if I see it. Of course, if I buy one now, what am I going to get from the Ewok? Probably that. But, you know what? That's life. What are you going to do? This thing is just too good to pass up, I think. Let's see what else there is. We need the shield. Let's look at that. Thick buckler. That might be all we need is 112. Yeah, we never got a buckler this time at all. Uh, four levels, I think. I never saw a buckler, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure. Uh, rune buckler of insight. It's only 80. I'm looking for the armor as much as possible. Two power regen. That's really good, though. Uh, it's not bad at all, but it's uh, 1800. This one's 1100. Probably do that. Ruined parrying dagger is not too bad. Look at this. These are two identical items again. Here's 300 difference. I never understood that. 32 armor or 112 armor or 80 armor. Yeah, and no baubles of protection all right let's see this let's see if there's any gloves of accuracy no not there yes here's some definitely buying those first uh, Chrome does not have any accuracy gloves and also neither does luck and I could then have luck get accuracy from these from Fox uh, but I'm definitely going to take this. I always pick these up whenever I see one. So I'm definitely going to pick that up. And I 
the one endurance we're gonna miss that a little bit but that accuracy is definitely more important than that and we can't put it on luck so that's that and let's see if what's an upgrade or not for luck we did want to work on ruined so that's something I think I will put this on luck we definitely want as much ruined items as possible that poison is okay but ruined is much better I think I'm going to sell this Manhunter bow. It's a level 2 now. It's getting obsolete. Let's see how much money we have. This axe is not really that great. In this battle it'll help us, but actually now that we have, we can get rid of this air, you know, this 7% uh, chance to hit, we have a guaranteed strike. Maybe that's something to put on there. Uh, we don't need this crossbow anymore. Um... I don't think that it makes a lot of sense for us to have it. We're better off with the higher speed bow. This is a level 4. That's not too bad either. Entering Ash Staff. You never know if we're going to need that or not either. Mithril Dagger of Speed. We now have a better dagger than this. So we can get rid of that. Pestilence Blade is definitely better. Mage Steel Mace, level 3, I'm going to let that go. Level 4, Venomous is not too bad. Definitely going to let this dagger go. If I want shielding, I need shielding. Not This 24 is just not enough. Quiver of Speed. We may need to change our speed for some reason. Parrying Dagger, no. Venomous Iron Mace of level 3, no. Because we already got a Mithril Mace of level 4, which is better. Thick Gloves, we can get rid of that. Mace of Speed. Well, you never know on that. Get rid of this orb. Get rid of this. I'd rather buy some other things at the store. Here we do have um, this other protective ring. Probably nearly identical. I don't think it'll change anything, but I would definitely keep the higher armor rated one. Especially since we're using it right now. Might as well do that. Venomous Oak Bow, level 4, 57.17. This one. Sixty-five and two endurance. I do like the survivability, and it does have more damage, but it doesn't have the poison. Is it better than the 65 and 2 power regen, 65 and 2 endurance? No, I don't think we need this one. I don't even think we need this, but uh, it depends what we have. So we're getting up close to the amount we need. And level 5, usually you get a portal scroll. So I'm going to go ahead and save my money until level 5 and get that portal scroll, go to the store, and we'll get that... Uh, We'll get the portal, uh, what's it called here, the Emporium Preferred Customer Badge on the next trip to the store. Let's see if there is an axe that is Mage Steel. 103, that would probably do the trick. Two strength, yeah, that would definitely do the trick. 105, that is, that is pretty good because I think I am going to pick this up and... I think that will help us. Uh, we'll be able to go in front of everybody except for the... We'll be able to go through for, before both of the trolls. We'll be able to go before the shaman. And that would help us to kill these trolls in one blow. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. But only after Bane goes into hiding. So we'll have to have the golems. Yeah, that, that will pretty much seal the deal, though. I'm definitely going to pick that up. And... We're going to get rid of this 75 damage axe. That's good. We still got 26,000. So you know what? We can afford. We can afford this staff of the enlightened magus. And that is a truly beautiful item. 28% blinding. That is really not bad, especially on a troll. We can blind up a troll, uh, and uh, trolls have 20. It'll be blinded to 50. So that's. That's really good. We can blind the back row. He only has 65. It'll blind him down to you know, 35, 37. So that's really awesome. I'm going to take this. And we might be able to stack it up with something else. So that's really awesome. 
I'm definitely going to take that and probably get rid of this venomous staff. The only time we might need that is if we go up against a Gorgon or something, and you never know if we're going to meet the Gorgon. Uh, we may have to deal with that. Unerring Ash Staff. Staff of Speed. Still don't know. No reason to sell all this stuff. Alright, we still need a shield. Ooh, Ruined Platinum Ring of Speed. Now that is excellent too. Whenever I find that, I will definitely take it. You can't beat that at all, and that would help luck a lot. We're looking for ruined items, so I'm going to pick that up as well. And that'll get luck up a little bit more. Speed, and I'm going to sell this one. Purifying wool gloves. Yeah, we're just going to keep that just in case. And this great axe is definitely... We're going to take it, but we need to save a regular weapon. Let me see if uh, we have something. Venomous Mithril, 62 and 17. That's better than what Krom has on him. So we can, we, and we have now, Krom now has a guaranteed hit. So let's put this axe on there, and let's go ahead and sell this unerring long sword, mage steel sword. Okay. Alright, we're still looking for a shield, I believe. Okay, so Soothing Cloak, that's not bad. 5 health regen. Uh, it's not that incredible. Um, it's good. I want it, I like it, but I don't want to spend the money on it. And that Thick Buckler, I think that's worth it. And then we're pretty much done. I think we got everything we need. We got the shield that we're looking for. Uh, we got a speed item for luck and some power regen. We got three extra power regen, I think, on luck because we got these uh, gloves. That's one more. We got two more here. Let's see what else we got. Let's see. Ruined gloves. What are they at now? It's still plus two. That's really not that great. It's really hard to work on it until you get to level 5 I think it starts getting to be plus 3 I think it's plus 1 for level 1 and 2 plus 2 for level 3 and 4 and so forth I, I'm not sure but that's all the ruined there is that other one is the no-brainer though that ring of speed and ruined is really good that one I couldn't pass that up and let's see if there's any other interesting items Ruined Helmet of Speed. You know, that might be really good, too. We could sell this Blood so Berserker's Hood and get something with power regen, more power regen, and more quickness. Now, that uh, only gives four more quickness. I don't know what Krom's quickness is right now. It was, like, 52. We dropped down 15. That's uh, 42, 37? 37, wow. That is pretty slow. Add four more to that, that's 41. <laughs> Still really slow. Yeah, we might want to work on his speed some. It would give us five more than this, actually, so it's not four more. It looks like four, but it's really, this one's minus one, so... If his speed, I think it was 52, and so that would really be minus 10 is 42. So with that, we could get it up to 42. Let's see what else there is. Soothing leggings. Yeah, not too incredible. Shift steel boots of speed, that's not too bad. But I'd rather have the soothing, I think. It's either he's going to go first with the with something else, or he's going to go pretty much middle no matter what with uh, an axe. So if he has a, a mace or a sword, Krom will go quickly. Otherwise, no. All right, I think we've got everything we're after here. we got a little bit of power regen for Rune. I think she's up to 15, I think. 
and speed 45 that's not bad uh, Bane did get his shield let's make sure we got that okay all right excellent so Bane got the shield uh, Krom got his axe and that's enough to do some serious damage I think that will get us there with Fox with the pin the pin fails Krom and Bane together can do the trick can do the job but only on the middle one not on the other one because Bane's gonna be on one side Krom's gonna be on the other side and uh, they'll only both be able to hit the one at the same time otherwise we're gonna have to deal with the uh, other troll the old-fashioned way I think and Bane will not be able to hit the back row so we're gonna have to kill those trolls we'll have to deal with that but it should be okay as long as we can kill one which we can uh, then look and bring another golem out and we should be able to, to take care of business that's the plan luck can blind something in the back row if necessary that might help uh, we'll see also how the shamans are uh, you know I think I am gonna go for that speed item though uh, let me look at that ruined helm of speed will be plus five speed and more power regen we lose a little pinch of strength but I think, you know, I gotta be careful with that. As I said, I need 105, and then, uh, well, you know, I could buy it, and then, is it an upgrade for anybody else? Not really. Two strength. That would lose four damage, but I don't think we need that much. That speed and extra power regen would be nice. We actually lost the power regen over here to luck. And we don't have any other ruined item there. Ruined jerkin is kind of nice. But I really don't want to spend all the money. You know what? I think I'm done. All right. I'm letting this go. I'm letting it go. Let me double check one more time. Make sure I got everything. All right. Fox did not need anything. Fox has the right speed. Fox could use more ruined items, but uh, what are we going to do? We got health regen, we got power regen, we got health regen, we got one power regen, that's a little weak, but nothing else we could do there. And we definitely have gloves of accuracy. And we found gloves of accuracy, so that's excellent. We found the Staff of the Enlightened Megas, that's excellent too. And we found an axe that can do the job there. We don't need any more weapons and there was nothing else interesting here yeah I think that's it okay let's go ahead and put something on Bane what's the best gloves here this is a chance to hit in 24 armor 19 armor and 6 chance to hit I'm gonna go ahead and swap these gloves out with Bane and now it's 24 armor and 8 chance to hit. And I'm going to go ahead and put this orb of protection on that. It's time now. He's got 22 damage reduction. That's excellent. That's not bad at all. And uh, he's going to get another potion here. It's going to be 20 more. That's 42. And then luck can put on a 15 more. That's uh, 57. So that's going to be really good. That's going to basically cut his damage down by, you know, 57. That's <laughs> almost two thirds, but not quite. So that's good. That is really good. All right, we're probably ready to go. Don't think there was anything else. Let's see what Crom hits for. 135, and we've got 64. That gives us 195, 199, right? So that's basically 200. And we need 404, and it will double Bane's attack, which is 109. So that's 218 plus 199 is 217. That gets us over the 204. So that will be good. Krom's quickness is only 36. I can live with that. We got three quickness potions if we needed it, but uh, I don't think we need to do that. Even if 
the orc savage attacks Krom first. The trolls have quickness 20 or something like that. So the orc savage could do a little damage to Krom. Then Krom will go intimidation mode. So Krom won't ever get uh, cursed, which is really nice. Uh, and then after that, we'll come out with some some damage there. Lux a little bit weak, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let that go. It's only like, what, two hit points, four hit points? I think I must have put on something with uh, endurance. There's Yeah, there's the one endurance item. I don't think that Luck is going to have that much trouble, but she only has nine health regen, so... But it should be okay. Even if Luck dies, I think we'll be fine because we can kill them with these four, with Fox, Crom, and Bane. So if the other deals works on the back row, that's fine. Uh, Bane needs his potion just to double, double insurity over here. And then Luck will just cast something, and we should be fine there. Let's just put this on Bane. I mean, this is probably overkill, but I've just had bad experiences with these guys, and I just don't want this. I don't want the, to be in trouble. Poison resist negative 10% from the Pestilence Blade, but we can fix that with Fox and the Nature's Bomb, 100% poison resist. Immunity to poison, so that's excellent. Chrome is ready to go. Luck is ready to go. Full power, full power, full power, full health and power everywhere else. And actually, Luck will regen that health back. Ooh, she, okay, that's Krom. She has nine health regen, so she'll heal, really regen it on turn one anyway. It really wouldn't matter. Um, unless she does get hit, then I guess it would matter. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so Fox is going to be able to go first, then the Savage, and then Bane. This is the right configuration. Then Luck, then Krom, and uh, then everyone else gets to go. So hopefully we will kill one of these guys right off the top. I'm going to try to kill this troll. Uh, turn one. If that doesn't work, Bane's going to go and, well, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully I have the right skills too. I don't think I took out any of my skills. And stunned and killed, so there it is. Bang, that's excellent. <laughs> I'm not going to complain about that. I will probably use Flash Powder then here. We've got 42 resist. Flash Powder seems like, wow, that's a lot of uh, trouble there. I could go defensive, and then next time we will definitely be able to kill another troll. Maybe that's the plan. It might be the simplest thing to do, and that way these trolls cannot hurt us this time. Let's just do that. Bring out the war golem. Krom will go intimidation, and they will all have to hit. Lux now cursed. I can live with that. Fox is now cursed. I can live with that. The war golem will go defensive. And they cannot hurt the war golem at all. Now Fox will come out with the pin. And if that works, it's stunned. That's good. So let's just do a coup de gras. That will kill that one. And we're pretty good to go. Let's try and do a boast maybe on the back row and see if luck can't... Uh, hit that orc savage maybe luck will get that nope it was fox that's not good okay everybody's gonna get defensive now we definitely have to go defensive at this point war golem we might as well hit oh he just got cursed okay we're not gonna hit anything with that war golem and that's not too bad for a spear lunge here let's go ahead and regen ourselves we can definitely hold out against what's left of these guys for a long time. We're not cursed here. I'm definitely going to just... Actually, I'm going to blind this guy. And he's stunned. Well, that's nice, but uh, he's not cursed. Let's just attack. That was a pretty good attack. And the healing. That, with that axe now, that power that... Uh, I think he's at 10% uh, 
a vampirism. That's pretty sweet. All right, we're cursed over here. I'm just gonna rest, and we're attacked again. But we regened everything already. That was pretty nice that we regened. And we cursed here, so we have to rest. Troll is stunned. That's right. And we're gonna do focus then. I want to get everybody regenning up. Now this guy's blinded down to 30%. That's excellent. This guy's blinded a little pinch from Fox. We should blind him more from Luck. But we don't. Not until we get regen on that. Alright, this guy's not cursed yet. I wonder if they each have one curse and that's what it is. So here's a curse that went down. Here's a curse that went down. But they didn't. Cur oh, and then they cursed the uh, War Golem. So they do have two curses. I'm not sure one must have healed, or maybe they have as many curses as they want, but sometimes I notice they just don't curse anymore. Let's see if Bane, maybe when they were cursing, Bane went invisible or he hid, and then something happened. I'm not sure. Wang, 97 poison. That's amazing. <laughs> it's dying. That's good. I like that. Let's try to blind that sh that savage again. No, Fox is still cursed, and so is Luck, so we don't want to do that right now. You know what we want to do is we're going to save up. Let's see. We're getting 11 back. We're at 33. That would be 40-something. You know what? We're just going to pass, get enough to weaken that troll down with the... Everybody's got good uh, defense. That's excellent. Even the Golem has that much defense. Okay. Well, let's... Um, let's... Let's blind here. No, not this turn. Well, that might be good. But, um, yeah, I'm going to pass. I don't want luck to die. Bane can handle a lot of damage, so that's fine. He's got 57 resist. All right, we got to pass on this war golem. Bang, that's pretty serious. But that's all right. Now luck can go. This guy didn't miss several times. I well, he or he just been blinded, I guess. But he should uh, he should miss. Let's just keep working on that troll. Get these shamans to try to deal with that. Let's weaken this troll down. That heals us all the way up. That's excellent. And now we're regening, so we can blind that savage all the way down to 37. He should miss quite a bit now. And uh, we're surviving, and they're going to use up all their mana and power, and that's fine. And Luck's full up. We can bring back another. That's a miss. That's that's that blinding there. That's excellent. And uh, let's see. We're going to regen now. Krom needs a regen. Bane needs a regen. The War Golem. I'll regen the War Golem in the future. Let's do Bane. Krom is probably not going to be hit. Let's do Bane. Oh, Bane does not have immunity to poison. Look at that, 90%. I've never seen that. Um, it says it will give you immunity to poison, but it doesn't look like you're, it's immunity to poison. Maybe it is. I don't know. I'm, I'm curious about that. I'm going to do some tests on this blade to see if Bane can be poisoned or not. Um, maybe against the uh, a Gorgon. We'll be able to find out. 90% resistance. Strange. I don't know if I've ever tested that before. Alright, poisoned and crom. Attack. And luck. A miss. Can you believe that? I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't. They have to pass, hopefully. Alright, good. And that troll will start to die. And a miss. That's good. Now Fox. Bane is a 100% chance to hit, and Bane will definitely kill this thing next time. So with the poison, it will die for sure. Well, actually we can't. Bane and Krom can kill it next time. So we can work on... Let's just regen everybody. He's regened. Let's just regen this war golem then. Let's see what happens. All right, that takes care of that problem. There's a little bit of damage. Wow, that guy definitely keeps getting hit. Everybody's healing. All right, 
War Golem. We'll just rest up. Why not? Fox. We're cursed. And we're full power, so it's okay. A little bit of pain right there. Actually, I should have went for this guy here. Oh well. Is he cursed? Still not cursed. Crack. Yeah, this guy should die now. I don't think he can get healed, but I'm not taking any chances. Alright, now we can kill this shaman, I guess. Gotta pass with that guy. Bane. We'll just finish him off now. Really doesn't matter what we do. Miss. That's two misses. Chances of that's pretty slim, but no. It happens all the time. I definitely don't count on luck in this game. That's why I went uh, defensive, high defense on this. 100% explored, 100% cleared. Well, there was only nine. Uh, I think there was only nine units on this board. All right, let's go and get our trophy. We're going to get a level five item. Let's get something good. The Shudderer. Of course, when we get one Pestilence Blade, then we get another blade just like it. 19% chance to stun. Too bad the Krom can't use this. That would be excellent. Because then he'd have, uh, with his charge ability, he'd have 70% chance to stun. This 86 damage really isn't as good as... Uh, let's see. It's usable rogue. Couldn't see the bottom of it. Let's see. Yeah, what it was worth or whatever. Uh, 26, 2565, and this one is 2309. I definitely like that Pestilence Blade. It's pretty good, but you know, I might save the Shudderer as well because... It is more damage. I mean, in this case, I probably would have took that one instead. Because, what's the damage on that? 128. And since we couldn't rely on the poison on that one, we needed to rely on something else. Uh, that Shudderer would have been better for killing trolls. And, of course, now we finally get a Buckler. Finally, after all this time, as soon as we buy one, then we get one. That's just how it is. All right, five health regeneration or two power regeneration? That's a good question. There's two power regen, two strength or five health regen. I'll definitely take the five health regeneration over the dexterity. Um, that dexterity, you know what? Actually, Bane might profit from this a little bit better. You lose a little armor. I'm okay with that. Definitely would like a little pinch more health regen. Maybe Krom could use this other one here. And we could get rid of this. I don't know if we need that. What's this one over here? One endurance, three armor. Let's just get rid of this one. And we got uh, damage reflection. I'm really not interested in that unless nobody has a cloak. Retreat instantly, that's better. Drain health was really helping us a lot. 5 health regeneration is definitely better than damage reflection. And here's more damage reflection and reduced damage from poison. With the 3 health regen. It really doesn't matter. We just got another pants with health regen. We got the 4 health regen here. We got power regen there, which we need. Alright, we need to put Bane back in business with what he was doing before. Which is this bow here. Let's see, this one is a level one, but we may transform that. Venomous U-Bow. Alright, so we've got Fox at 66 and Bane now. I just messed him up at 67, so that doesn't make any sense. Okay, Krom is now uh, with 37 quickness, and Bane is 66. Luck is at 45 with 28 blinding target, 15 power regen, it's getting respectable. Fox has 16 power regen, that's not bad. Krom has a little power regen, a little health regen, not too much. And same with Bane, a little power regen, a little health regen, but normal, you know, regular power regen. And only Fox is kind of looking a little bit tip top. 
uh, with 16 power regen and 13 health regen. That's really not bad at all. Pestilence Blade, yeah, definitely was good. We might uh, be interested in that next time. It might come in handy on some of our strategies. We'll see how much gold we get, what we need to do. Might have to sell one of these. Uh, this 5 quickness thing, we never know. We may need to get our quickness up to 50 to get in front of something to survive the next battle. So we're definitely, we may need a poison to fight the Gorgon or something like that. Blinding isn't going to help the Gorgon, not 28% blinding. Uh, that would knock it down enough. I think we're set. And we definitely got the Shudderer is level 5. So that's interesting right there. But, uh, yeah, it's not worth a ton. I wish we would have got something else. Something we could really use. All right, 100% explored, 100% cleared, and no extra question marks or blue altars. So uh, we're ready to move on. Creatures. We're talking the Beholder here. That's going to be a little tricky, maybe. Let's put the Endurance up. We definitely have the ability to smack down on the Beholder with the uh, Fox. And Chrome does pretty well, too. So it depends what's in the front row. And what we get. We're not getting anything yet here. Still haven't found a lot of blue altars in this one. Found our way through the maze already. There's a bow. There's our portal scroll. That's what we needed for sure. And we're stuck. Okay. Well, let's process what we got. Do we need threadbare gloves? I don't think so. Let's see. This crossbow, 80 damage to endurance and drain health is... Mm, to endurance is kind of nice. I like the poison, but at the same time, we'll just get rid of this one. Uh, let's see. Quickness. Slippers of speed with quickness. That's not bad at all. Um, we definitely need that for luck. And six quickness isn't bad. That would get us up to 51. We'd lose some health regen. That's you know, definitely a problem. Symbiotic boots. I don't think that's better than anything. And I don't think I'm going to transform any boots. I don't think they're worth anything. Uh, you know, it's almost better than that endurance, but not quite. Four health regeneration is better. Four health regeneration is better. Yeah, I thought I had some better boots than that, but... You know, this quickness might be good for somebody. Then what is this? Uh, four health regen? I could put that on Bane. No, I can't. I need Bane to go after Fox, and I can't change his speed, not even by one right now. Uh, unless I get Fox up higher with some speed. If I switch this power regen speed on Luck and Fox, maybe that would be good, but I uh, don't want to do that yet. I think I can get rid of these symbiotic boots, though. Let's see, 76, a little pinch of blinding, and 7% chance to kill. Mm, I'd like that power regen. I like that poison, too. That's With the poison, that's 74, which is almost identical, depending on if they have poison resist or not. And blinding, and 7% chance to kill. But uh, I think I'd rather put that on Fox to have a chance to kill. He's got a chance to kill there. We can stack it up there. That's 13% chance. So if he's doing a pinning, uh, that's a possibility of just getting it right off the top. Uh, we'd lose our two power regen, though. We'd be back down to 14. But we'd also have a chance to kill instantaneously. And a little pinch more of blinding actually would stack up now to blinding 26 and lethality 13%. That's... Not bad, actually. And this one is probably not better now at this point. I think we'll just let it go then. The two power regen? I don't know. We can always try to fix that some other how, I guess. This armor? Yeah, I don't think that's really that great. What do we got here? Drain health. That's still better. 
Iron mace. Um, would we be better off transforming a sword or a mace? Probably the sword. The mace is not as good, I don't think. The parrying dagger. You know, I think the shield is probably better than the parrying dagger, but he's got 10% damage reduction. That shield gives him double that to 120 or to 20%. We're not going to use the spear. Six health regeneration. That looks like an upgrade. Definitely here is an upgrade. And what about this? Five health regeneration or drain health. Let's see. If he's hitting for 137, he's got and five more percent drain health. That's five something per every time he hits, which is five health regeneration every turn, whether he hits or not. So five health regeneration. At this point, the health regen, I think, is better uh, unless he can get two hits somehow. Which, you know, if you have more than one Barbarian or if you have a Warrior that, you know, can get somebody, an ally to get an extra strike, then that would be something good. But that's not uh, the case here. So, at 137 though, still, it, actually the Drain Health is just a pinch better. And it's only going to get better as time goes on. That 5 Health Regen... You know, 100 damage, depending on their armor, depends on everything. But it is, even if he's stunned, he'll still get that health regen. Whereas the drain health, not necessarily, that's not true. You know, you won't get that drain health. So, uh, that health regen, you can be stunned and still get it. I'm thinking that's probably, and even when you use a lesser attack, or if he wants to use some other attack... Um, like Intimidate, when he's intimidating, he's not attacking, so he's not getting that health regen, etc. and so forth. So, you know what? It is better. This cloak is better. It's better than this. Um, if we're going to transform anything, we probably transform that cloak. There's some good cloaks out there. Probably not the Quiver. Probably not the hood. Probably not the sword or the shield. I definitely would transform the cloak, but if I need something, I'm going to keep these two just in case I may change my mind. I'm not going to use a parrying dagger. I just don't really see that happening. If I want armor, if I put a shield in a... In a a pestilence blade it's because I want uh, armor and that shield will give me the armor that six quickness is really looking good but I don't want to sacrifice for health regen luck needs as much health regen as possible but we'll just keep it in case we need it but I think um, yeah we'll keep that as well Let's just keep this other stuff just in case. I think at some point in time, Drain Health, well, Drain Health is increasing now too. We just haven't got any more new items. Let's see if there's any skills. Let's look and we'll wait and see. Well, we were able to see most of this map, and we still haven't even finished yet. Okay, let's keep going. I think that's it. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can see the entire map, so that's excellent. Let's see what the final battle is here. Uh, we got Narathal, the Beholder, leader of the Ancient Ones, two Greeblers, one Arachnoid. That's nice. We'll take out that Arachnoid turn one, like we did before. Uh, you know, we probably on luck. We probably need uh, the Call Soul. We're going to work on Lux's uh, power regen this time, and there's a lot of plus three items coming online now, so we'll definitely do this call soul. If Luck dies, it's okay. Uh, if somebody else dies, we can bring them back, and that's, I think, going to be the most important thing. 
these guys do a lot of damage, crazy stuff, and we'll just see how it goes. But call soul definitely is important, and we can, and this one we can get rid of this and use the call soul. Uh, we don't need this except for the cultists. We already have Hunter's Prowess here. Uh, and Venom Daryl would be good, um, but Hunter's Prowess is probably going to be just fine for this level. So I don't think we need to do anything there with Chrom. Last Stand could be very good. Uh, Pulverize, I don't think that's going to matter. Last Stand does sound pretty good, but we don't have to choose right now. Just want to see if there's anything that stands out like, oh, I know I can get that. You know, the sneak attack might be really good. We could put the Pestilence Blade on Bane and do a sneak attack uh, straight up onto that Beholder. And we could also put the the shield on and, and with luck we could put some defense. It won't work against the Beholder. It ignores armor when it strikes. But also we may, that Sap Strength might be good. Um, I'm not sure what's going to be the best here. We're definitely going to go to the store. We're definitely going to try to pick up. Let's see how much cash we have. 18,000. We could sell some more stuff and get. We could easily get the 30,000, and we're going to get a whole bunch more gear this time. So, kill the arachnoid on turn one. The Nerithal is going to do biz, dirty business. Uh, and then we'll have. Bane, Krom, actually Bane's going to have to have a bow in order to kill the Arachnoid uh, with Coup de Gras from the back row. Luck will put out the Golem that will hold off the two Greeblers. We'll have to take damage from the Storm Drake, the Poison Drake, and Narathal, which we don't have any clue what's going to happen there. After that, we will try to take out Narathal with Fox, Bane, and Krom uh, as best as possible. Chrom will go defensive on turn one, and that will help a little bit. Uh, we'll have to see how that goes. We'll have to see, because Chrom won't really be able to help with the well with the with the beholder a little bit maybe because Chrom does have this boast skill and so he can add one more extra attack otherwise probably he's just going to uh, work on these Grieblers just start attacking the Grieblers I think that's probably the best plan and the Poison Drakes and the Storm Drake uh, too bad we didn't get uh, last time when I played through I had uh, two Gargoyles and Bane was able to take them out instantaneously solo with the pierce defense, uh, the piercing skill. Pierce defense, uh, defensive skill. That's a really good uh, attack on gargoyles. Unfortunately, we didn't get any gargoyles this time, so we're going to have to do everything uh, the hard way, looks like. So we definitely got our work cut out for us with Narathal. Uh, it's definitely going to be trouble. But that's it for this episode. We did what we came to do. Um, definitely the orcs are the toughest. And we passed the orcs. So uh, we're going to destroy the rest of them. Kill them all. And uh, until then, be well.